Hello, boys and cats. My name is Halsey, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where last time we built our second furnace or furnace setup for copper, and I think today we want to have a bit of science production going. And I will start with the easiest one, the red one. Uh, for that we need copper plates and iron gears. Um, so I am thinking we have a dedicated site for gear production and then we can have one train that uh, is filled half with copper, half with uh, iron gears. And that basically is the correct ratio um, to build the red science pack. But I guess for that we need another copper smelter set up and another um, iron smelter set up and uh, we probably also want to have a bit of uh, automation going because if we have this setup where we have chests that are full of iron then there is no need to send another iron ore train. So let's see about that. We need um, the uh, circuit networks research for that. Um, and then we should be good. But let me first uh, throw together uh, another one, another copper smelter and another iron smelter. Now that the research is done and I have the second uh, iron smelting in place, let's see if we can figure out a way to do this by connecting all the chests. And then we need one wire going from here to there, which means we probably need a pole there. And then <coughs> here we can send this to enable disable when we have Oh. Nope. Let's let's do it the another way. Um we have iron ore here and if that is lower than we have six chests on each side. So 12 chests in total and if we say we have 50 uh, iron ore in each that would be 600 in total so 
We enable when we have less than 600 in the chests there. So currently we have 120. Well, let me do the same up here. Because up here we probably actually have a bit more. So let's connect all the chests first. And these ones as well. And then enable. 600. And here we can see this train is disabled, which means our iron ore train will not go to this station, it will go to that station. And if no station has available space, it will just sit there. And then let me do the same thing for copper. Uh, and of course also put in the second copper smeltery. Now before we proceed any further, let me set up this train wagon. Because this one here, we will only half fill with copper plates. So I need to set the uh, the filters here, which is a bit tedious uh, because you have to set the filter for each uh, slot. And once we have half set to copper, we then can set the other half to iron gears. Right, and then I need to do the same thing for the other wagon on the bottom station. And we of course need then to set up the train schedule. Uh, so the train leaves when the amount of copper is loaded. And the next stop would then be the iron gear loading which we will build next. Now here at the bottom of our second iron smeltery we have one square that I think is perfect um, to get our, um, our um, gear production going. Um, it's just and I want to basically have yeah get about works basically having a rail go here through the middle and then we will have one train station that has just there unloading right and then we can have another train station there And that's it. And we all 
also should add that and then hopefully we can have have the output well we probably have to make it this way so that it works and here we unfortunately need long inserters to make this work one steel chest short and here the output and there we have this going and here we probably need to go the other direction one more and then up here not enough signals uh, not enough rail That's that, and not enough stations, I would guess. So let me quickly run up here and grab more materials, craft a few more stations so we can finish that setup. And then we will have to set up some more trains. I think this is a nice setup uh, for producing bears. So actually, let's take a blueprint of it. Um, name this simple production. and put that also in here now then uh, i we have two um two trains going this direction one train in this and that's mainly to do with how we get in and out of here and the backward um uh, station has a train limit on it and we need to rename these so the middle ones will be um, iron plate delivery one which means this one will be iron plate delivery 2 and the idea here is we unload the half the train here and the other half there which means here we have then um, iron gear loading one which means this one will also be iron gear loading one iron gear loading one 
which then makes this iron gear loading two maybe with a G there let's do the typing right or at least try to do it um Right, and this one will be iron gear loading two. Right, means we can set up here the machines. And then train. No, we don't need a train here. Now we can actually go to this train and say iron plate loading, full cargo. Then go to iron gear loading. Uh, wait. Item count. So. D stack 200. This is a thousand, two thousand. So. That would be cargo this is lower or equal than 2000 so like that and then move to iron um, um, Plate delivery too. That one wants to be iron plate delivery one and iron plate delivery two. On this one we have empty cargo and in this one we have the plates less than 2000 nice and we can set this to automatic we fill in here a bit more coal and then do the same thing here um, iron plate loading full cargo iron plate delivery item count iron plate less or equal to thousand and iron plate delivery empty cargo all right and then we have our copper trains down here did i press alt by accident nope we just don't have any copper delivered here yet so here we go to copper plate loading um, item count of that one that should be exactly two thousand because we cannot fit more and then go to iron gear loading um, uh, item count um, iron gear 
and there we load 1000 and then we go to iron gear loading 2 full cargo and then we go to signs which we will still have to build so we will still leave that on uh, manual so here um copper plate loading item count plates 2000 then the next station is iron gear loading item count uh, gears we want to load 1000 there and then iron gear loading full cargo right so then let's actually build the red science in here and I think we should be able to use that blueprint here again because all we need here is two input materials so maybe we need two chests down here uh, to put that in but then we have one output so let me see how this uh, works out uh, once I have built it up and then we can set the last train there going all the way and we will also need some trains waiting down here to pick up the red signs that do not yet go anywhere because I think then next we would have to build up the green signs um, because with that green signs we cannot do any research uh, at this point in the game and green signs that's a whole other beast because there we need a few more um, ingredients than what we just have for the red signs but we will manage it may take a bit of time but that's not an issue down here at our gear production we have a bit of a situation because the first train moved on to the second stop which allowed the second train to move in to go to the first stop but because they are so close together they cannot uh, it cannot go into the first one because the tail end is blocking that um, so maybe we could move that further back the station here um, but what I tried instead is basically uh, disabling ah, ah, uh -huh. um, disabling this train sh train stop but that would only uh, mean yeah 
Maybe this was set up the wrong way anyway. No, because we do have some gears in here. So maybe we should really try to uh, to break that apart so that we can have two trains behind each other on that line. Here we have uh, this set up and there we probably have the, the same issue and we have two inputs so we have two chests loading out of the train with filter um, inserters so let me try this if we are here and if we move that back to there and i think we should be okay this would then be of course Red Science Delivery One. With a train limit of one. And these trains, they have basically the same load set up on the first stop, half full, on the second stop, the second half. At that then basically means this one let's just copy that and that goes to here and to there and that would then mean this one is right. Uh, maybe we need to do this one that way. Then this one would be uh, signs pick up two. Not sure how to do this because with this setup when we have a train sitting there another one might sit here so we cannot get get back out so maybe the situation is is really like uh, like this we have this one we'll make this Red signs delivery and this red signs pickup. There is no one or two. Um, red signs pickup. Uh, that will all go away. Don't need that. And remove it. And have it that way 
And once we get also some copper, we should be able to produce some red science. But I think that's enough for today. And uh, next, next time we will have to try and get a start on green signs. And that's probably a bit more difficult than the red signs. So until then, goodbye.